this is as done on the VNA, that um, SV4401. Yep. So what we've got here is essentially the best match that we can possibly get at 50 ohms um, on our pass side of our filter. So this is, this is the high pass filter set. And that is our notch. I should have actually averaged it a little bit more. It's only average times one, even though we've got a thousand um, uh, points. Um, it would actually give us a, a little bit of a smoother um, um, picture. Picture. Yeah. Yeah. But if we actually zoom in, we've actually got approximately 44 and a half dB of of um, notch, notch with respect to the pass and we've got about 1.11 dB of insertion loss that's the loss that we get on the on the the uh, direction or the frequency the, that we want to pass the through wanted, the filters yeah, yeah. yeah now these are just the uh, a pair of the T pass filters that we've right, made right. if we look over here in fact I've gone a bit far you see I'm actually got a smith chart there that that I bought up on the VNA it's not too far from 50 ohms <laughs> If you can see it in there, it's not too far from 50 ohms. So it's got a slight reactance there, inductive reactance, but yeah. it's just ignore it in practice. We could be... Um, it could be picky. We could be picky, but we'd be there for years yeah. and you'd never notice you, in the real world. That's right. You, you yeah. chase your tail sometimes yeah. and, and things get worse rather than better. Yeah. 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 Now this is, this is the, um, the low pass, so you can see that in the blue there, there's our insertion loss, which is 0.61 of a dB, yeah. and our notch again is uh, 40, 44, nearly 45 dB. Yeah. Again, it's it's a little bit coarse there on the, the plot. Um, it could be a little better. Um, that's our return loss there. But hey, that's pretty good. Minimum yeah. return loss that I'd be happy with would be uh, 14 dB return loss, which yeah. equates to one and a half. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, an SWR of 1.5. Yeah. But what we've got there is pretty good, and you can see the markers are actually our um, repeater input and repeater output frequencies. So, um, for practical purposes, that's not too bad. And of course, yeah. when it's finally adjusted and aligned, um, we can actually get them a little bit better than that. I haven't actually taken any VNA plots as the uh, filters are now with the bandpass filter um, added on the added end. on the end. Yeah. But that bandpass filter is adding about a further 8 dB of um, of isolation whilst it's providing um, a bandpass filter characteristic it's adding about uh, a little over half a dB extra of insertion loss so we're getting um, measured about 1.5 dB uh, of insertion loss uh, on the pass side of each one of our um, filter sets hmm. and uh, as I said we're getting about 50, uh, over 50 dB of notch on our um, our unwanted uh, yeah. frequency, so I'm very happy with that. Yeah, cool. Plus, plus the the now measured 60 dB, dB. of isolation uh, between the antennas at, at three meters, yeah. uh, and on no, the last, yeah. absolutely no measurable descents with any piece of test equipment here, and uh, I'm very happy with the the way things are going. Mm.